before this video starts, I am hosting another giveaway. Yes, we just done the Wildcat giveaway and now I'm doing another one. I'm going to be giving away a GK61 60% mechanical gaming keyboard with yellow switches. It's literally the fastest keyboard in the world and I'm going to be giving it away to you guys. If you want to enter, all you have to do is drop a like on the video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications on and also there will be a few more rules you need to follow within the description. So be sure to check it out and make sure to enter fast. Good luck everyone. Yo guys, yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Fetch here, back with another daily upload, day number 134. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually fix and stop 100% CPU usage when gaming, or in particular, playing Fortnite. Now, of course, we are going to hop straight into things, but before we do so, the least I ask from you guys, if you go ahead to enjoy this video in any way, shape, or form, make sure to drop a like for me. It literally takes two seconds, really does support the video. You can also go the extra mile and subscribe with all post notifications turned on. Therefore, you never miss an upload just like this. We've actually just hit 100k subscribers i want to thank you guys so much i'm not gonna do like an actual thank you in this video i've got a ton of like special videos that are coming up they are planned so just keep an eye on my channel for them also actually let me know down below what do you want to see me do for 100k i've got a day in a life planned i may as well just leak it now but i've got a day in a life planned i've also got updated gaming and room tour that is going to come soon but yeah just let me know what else you want to see okay so getting straight into this we're over on my desktop right now you guys will need to be in the same position but we're going to start off with the basic stuff and that's going to be first of all your task manager so what you're going to do is navigate to that. You can right click your desktop and it may come up here. But if not, just go to your Windows search and type in task uh, manager like so. I can't, I literally can't type. But you will find it right here. And once you have your task manager open, as you can see, I'm literally using 43% CPU. That is terrible. And I'm actually going to mention this now. I have an i7-700K processor. I'm not even sure if you say it like that, but that is my processor. It's an Intel. And although it isn't bad, it also isn't the best processor. I'm upgrading tomorrow to an i9, the i9-10900K. And that should help my general PC's performance performance and my cpu usage because if you have a lower end cpu you could generally just have more cpu usage than others may have just because you have a lower end more budget processor that's just sometimes kind of how things work it isn't always the case but just please take that into mind but why we're here the first thing this is like the most common sense thing as i already mentioned but it's your processes now obviously if you have high cpu usage it most likely isn't just triggered by fortnite it could be a ton of other things a ton of other processes you have running in the background and as you can see i have a great deal of processes is running right now now basically what you want to do is just make sure you have the least amount of processes running now of course that doesn't mean go through and just end absolutely everything because things like service host like user manager like all these things a lot of the service host ones come from windows and they are actually like default windows processes and you need them for your pc basically just to function correctly so just basically don't go through and end processes that you are unsure about but end the ones that you know that 100 you know what they are and you don't need them running but yeah for the most part you just want to go to the very top and as long as this arrow right here is facing down it's going to basically show you right at the top what is using the most so right now literally all of my cpu usage is coming from streamlabs obs which is what i'm recording this video with but assuming you guys don't have this open right now you probably just have i don't know maybe discord as you can see discord using three percent it may be using more for you guys you can maybe try and end things such as discord or whatever it may be when you're playing fortnite so it lowers your cpu usage it's definitely something to consider but of course a lot of you guys may want that running but basically all i'm saying here is just end processes you don't need super simple and now moving on to services these are just things that run in the background you can try and end some of these now of course it's one of them again you don't want to end something you actually need so um you want to be careful with this try and be a bit cautious now of course if you end up ending something that you actually need you can just simply restart your system and it'll probably just boot back up on startup but for the most part i wouldn't tamper with this too much just it's kind of one of them like if you see something in here that 100 you know your system doesn't need you can stop the service and just end it and it will free up some resources but now on the same topic of startup and things that are coming up when you are booting your pc these are going to be the things that are are in the background they're in the background process and they will be taking up the most cpu usage so what you want to do is it's kind of self-explanatory basically just disable as many as possible you don't want things running up at startup that don't need to be running when you boot your pc so for example i've got only the ones enabled that i 100 need so air trumpet i use that for my volume on my pc i need that to run on startup things such as i've got to control center go xlr these are for my microphone and also for the lights that i use for my camera and then things like wallpaper 32 that is for my background you can see right here and i've also got like still series applications which basically controls the lighting on my keyboard so yes i need them and anything else in here i didn't need i basically have turned off because it's just using unwanted resources and it's affecting my performance almost moving on but it's also links together with processes and services i would recommend you actually use an application which completely kills them all all the unwanted ones so what you can do is just go on google i'll probably link this down below but if not go on google and search up kill.exe download so just like that it should be the top one right here it'll be from sourceforge.net so just make sure you go on the right one because you don't want to 
to download anything too dodgy, but this right here is completely safe. It's a kill.exe, and if you guys don't know what a kill.exe is, as it says in the name, it's an executable file which basically just kills every single service and process that is running in the background when ran. So basically what would happen is you'd open up it. So um, let me download this right here. I don't want to run it because I'm obviously running programs which I need to record this video. But what you would do is once downloaded, you'd extract it right here to your desktop, and then you should be greeted with this right here, which is a kill exe as you can see it is a dot exe file and basically what you do is you run this it'll open up a command prompt and you basically just press any input any key on your keyboard and it'll literally just kill every process every service every task running on your pc at that current moment in time and you'll run this before loading up fortnite so you just quickly run this you then load up fortnite and it'll basically just ensure that only fortnite is running of course after you've run this you can maybe open up some of the more like necessity programs that you have such as i don't know discord whether that's spotify i don't know whatever it is you can open that up but just be aware that when you run this it will literally close everything you then load up fortnite then load up only the things you really really do need to be running and it will just ensure that nothing is running along fortnite and you are getting the lowest cpu usage basically all the performance is just tailored to the game you're running and now actually on the topic of like those programs that you always want to run alongside your game that can be discord i've already mentioned that we've got spotify but also a huge one would be your web browser now if you guys are using google chrome i'd highly recommend you just stop using that completely google chrome has been tested by many many influential tweakers in the community and it's basically just really bad for taking up resources it's for whatever reason cpu intensive and it just uses a lot of cpu usage if you have multiple tabs open or even just one tab when running fortnite so what you want to do is instead maybe convert to a browser such as either brave or opera gx now me personally as you can see right here i use brave brave is super good not only just because it looks unbelievably clean but also has built-in dark mode a built-in vpn built-in ad blockers and this thing is just really convenient it's resource it literally saves you time because it's generally just a lot faster it finds shortcuts to certain websites you are going on and it just gets rid of all the ads and of course ads do take up some space they do take up some time when you're just browsing and trying to find what you're looking for they just eliminate all of that and it's just super beneficial of course you're protected with the vpn and, and also as it says here it saves bandwidth which basically means you can have this running alongside fortnite and your ping won't be affected so it's super good in that sense now this is just one of them i can recommend you can also try a pair of gx now i don't have that downloaded right now but it's another one i speak high of because I actually did partner with these I did a sponsorship deal where I promoted a pair of GX and of course that means I had to try it out and download it myself and whilst I was using it I had a great experience this thing literally has a CPU usage cap so you can download this and set how much CPU usage you want the browser to almost cap at and then just not let you go any further so you can literally cap how much of your processor is being put into this software or this browser right here which is insane like no other browsers do it like Opera this is literally a tailored gaming browser as it says here so another one I can highly recommend and no, this is not sponsored. I just know these are best for performance. Oh, and one thing I actually almost forgot is no matter what browser you are going to use, go into your settings. So on your browser, just find whatever the settings are. And I'd recommend you scroll down and you should be able to find, um, if I can find it here, it should be on additional settings. Um, okay, yeah, right here. So on system, this is at least on Brave. You have this option right here where you can disable use hardware acceleration. You want to ensure that is in fact disabled because what this does is it basically makes your GPU work twice as hard. Your CPU, of course, has to work alongside that twice as hard and that's going to actually increase cpu usage when using your web browser alongside a game so yeah just ensure this is turned off on whatever browser you're using you can also do this on discord so if i go here to settings and go to appearance um it should be at the bottom you're right here hardware acceleration also turn that off on discord if you do use discord when running fortnite and actually thinking about it spotify as well you can also turn it off on spotify um, i'm not sure how you do it i think it's on settings here i think if i scroll down go right here yeah so if i go to advanced settings there also will be a hardware cell option here just make sure that's all also turned off and now moving on we're going to be talking about your antivirus software so for the most of you it's going to be windows defender which is actually built into your windows 10 like system so if you have windows 10 it's going to come pre-installed with windows defender which is basically your systems and windows antivirus basically that's what it is so by default everyone's going to have this turned on they're going to have it installed on their system if i go to windows security right here in the settings mine is actually as you can see completely bugged it's completely glitched basically what i'm saying here and what you guys need to do is more or less uninstall and turn off Windows Defender. That's what I want you to do. And now you may be thinking, okay, but now I don't have an antivirus and now my PC is potentially vulnerable. I may be in danger. I may get a virus now. That is not the case because I'd recommend you actually invest into a third party external antivirus such as Malwarebytes. Now, of course, there are other ones, but Malwarebytes is just one that I can highly recommend because I use it myself. But you know, Malwarebytes, super easy to install. You can literally just go on the website. You can get a free trial. Of course, you may have to pay after the free trial, but you can literally just keep it running and it'll just basically be an unlimited free trial and yeah the reason this is so good i'm going to run this right now but windows defender
defender is always running in the background and taking up a ton of resources and most importantly your cpu usage so if you want to actually uninstall that and download something like as i've already mentioned malware bytes this actually puts you fully in control so you can open this whenever needed so let's say you're going to download something or just generally browse the web you can open up malware bytes it's going to actually activate the antivirus and then you're going to be protected but when you want to load up your fortnite you're going to play games you can simply turn it off you can go into your display tray now my display tray isn't on this monitor so i can't show you but what i could do is just go into my task manager and i could find it right here and just end the task and now it's no longer running nothing is in the background actually taking up usage and i can play my game and not have to worry about 100 cpu usage because windows defender will really add to that so yeah all i'm really getting at here is just use a third party external antivirus and then you're in control you can ensure it's not always running in the background you can turn it on and off and it's going to keep you equally protected so it's just generally easier and now finally the last few things i'm going to show in this video they're going to be more internal things they're also very very easy but what you're going to do is type in run go into the run application type in ms config like so now you're going to get this box what you're going to do is first of all go into boot i would recommend you set your timeout to five and make sure no gui boot is ticked and then go to advanced options here and just ensure that number of processes is ticked and the highest number here is selected this will just ensure you're using all available cores on your hardware your cpu and it just means you are getting the most out of it but once you do that press ok press apply and then press ok and now you can exit out of here and now the final thing is going to be part control now you guys will need to download this so just search up part control on google and it will be this one this top page from bits and it should be right at the top you want to download part control so just install it real quick it takes literally two seconds i'm going to install this to my desktop here but once installed just give it a quick run it's going to black out my screen real quick it's a very quick setup just go through it press agree i would recommend you untick start menu shortcuts just make sure it launches press ok install it. it's going to take two seconds now basically what you're going to do here is just ensure that you are on the correct power plan so for me i'm on lurid's power plan which is like a custom power plan but the one next up from this is ultimate performance you need to ensure that you can select this here now if you can't what you want to do is type in edit power plan like so and go back to power options and ensure that it's not on here if it is not on here so you don't see ultimate performance you want to type in cmd run your cmd as administrator and then once again go to your browser and type in ultimate performance command like so and it should come up right at the top you want to literally just copy this line of command you'll see um you want to do it without the full stop so just that right there and of course i've already got ultimate performance but you want to paste this here press ok and then it's going to say this and if it says this this means you've now got ultimate performance so you want to exit out of here now when you go back to your edit power plan right here you should now have all my performance as you can see i now have two of them you want to just make sure firstly that's selected and also in the cpu park control application you want to also ensure that it is selected right here and parking ac parking dc frequency scaling ac and frequency scaling dc all of these need to be enabled so enable each one and sam all to 100 percent like so and then once you have done that also tick bit some dynamic boost and now go on this little tab down box and ensure this is also set to ultimate performance so in my case i'm gonna do lower power plan but you need to do all my performance but yeah once that's done you want to press apply and then it should tell you that these settings are now been applied press ok and then you can exit out of here now for everyone this part control application should generally help but if you do see performance decrease it could be different depending on your systems so you can always go back into here and just revert the change so as you can see if i go back into here i can just disable everything and it should be good but yeah for most of you this shouldn't be an issue and you should be fine after just doing what we did previously but yeah guys with that being said that is all i have in today's video i'm sorry if this video was a little bit long i try to keep it as short as possible if you can hear i'm literally losing my voice from how much i talk today but yeah hopefully this could help if it did make sure to drop a like for me subscribe all of the good stuff i hope everyone has an amazing day it's been way fetch and yeah peace